last night before it even got dark. Um, I hear some noises and I look over and a porcupine is poking his face underneath my tarp, <laughs> underneath my rain. Uh, just like, just checking it out. Are you asleep yet? Gonna eat something? <laughs> so I yelled at it and I thought about telling the rest of camp, but I could hear snoring everywhere. So it's like, it just went on to create chaos the rest of the night. But an hour later, I heard someone else yell at it. And I've already been hearing people talk about it. So, porcupine at Baker Lake. I can't believe that I have pretty much never had problems with porcupines. And I've been at four campgrounds this year so far with porcupines. It's crazy. It is official. I have had completely amazing weather. How does this happen? I've never seen this. Not that wasn't on purpose. How does this happen? So cool. Oh, that is sweet. I'm with a couple of friends from my work. Not planned, but you know, I have a big company, so that I work for. You know, just having coffee. Just walk around and enjoy some monumental views. Yeah, it's not bad. Not a bad campground at all. Saw back, baby. Well, I have rehung my food. Apparently, if you follow this trail down here, there's a waterfall. I'm really not in a hurry to leave. It's 20 to 11. Almost everyone's gone at this point. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm happy to hang out here. Completely gorgeous day. Gorgeous lake. Still can't get out, can't get over this part. This is so, so cool. Right, let's see what's going on down here. Oh man, that uh, porcupine was terrorizing people last night. <laughs> I mean, it came in visited me and I wasn't sure what I should do. Should I wake everyone up? Tell them there's a porcupine. I mean, people are snoring like crazy already. <laughs> and eventually I just kind of thought, well, you know, it's, uh, everyone's going to learn. <laughs> everyone's going to learn what it's like to have a porcupine around. And really what we need is like a Sharpie. And you write it on the picnic tables, you know, porcupine. Well, you can already hear this thing. Alright. No, I think that was only part one. I think there's a bigger one coming. Okay. You can see some of it is escaping through here. Not a bad shot out of this. Not bad at all. There's the, the meadows that I was walking through yesterday. Oh, and there's that same waterfall I was loving. It's all right. All right, just kind of came on down here. Yeah, you can get almost right beside this thing if you really wanted to. Not bad at all. Cool. Yeah, you can follow a trail over here and come down, but to me this is a little dicey, so I'm not going to go down there. Oh yeah, 
I got another little shot of it. Got to be careful though. All right, I've got trees here to hang on to. That's how I work my way down here. You can see the trail just over here. It keeps going just a, another few feet and you get a nice lookout. A really nice lookout. Then really there's not, I mean, you could keep bushwhacking along, but there's nothing obvious. It's a perfect little evening stroll hike. People kept referring to the waterfall. I wonder how many of them stopped at the first fall and thought they were done. Not bad, not bad at all. Just a short little jaunt too. You know, 10 minutes to get over here. So it wouldn't be hard to put on some water shoes and cross and go walk all over these things. And I mean, you can see little trails on them, right? People have done that. But this campground, this area is heavily trafficked. So I'm not gonna do that. I want people to actually see them in their beauty for decades to come, right? Next generations. If everyone goes out there and tramps on them, they'll just be rock, no more greenery. And I mean, the fact that some of these trees are growing on here is amazing. So I would go play around up there, but not today. I think that's all. I got lots to see today. There's plenty to see on the way out. So I think it's time to start moving. It's kind of a neat feature. <laughs> Just one big, massive pile of snow. It is as tall as I am. <laughs> That's funny. Trail runners. I haven't seen trail runners, I don't think, since Skyline. All right. If I Baker League campground, bring on Boulder Pass. I love designing a hike like this. The great, the good stuff at the end. You know, when you sort of need the pick me up, you need the awesome views. I mean, if you do this the other direction, you have 15 kilometers of uh, road, it's uh, not real inspiring, right? This is pretty much awesome. Another idyllic scene. Ah, Baker Lake, you give quite a bit. Still a little bit of muck. It's been a pretty wet year. A little bit of climbing today, but I also know that it's not gonna last. There's not that much of it today. That's pretty cool. Nature made igloo of sorts. Deception Pass, maybe Deception Pass is there. I'm starting to see the next, that's Ptarmigan Lake. Ptarmigan Mountain. Woo! Um, you know what, I'm happy to be doing this when I, the beginning of the day when I got energy and willpower and ready to rock and roll. This is an absolute cinch. When I'm hiking, walking, I'm happy because I got this view. When I'm taking a break, I'm happy. I mean, <laughs> it just, yeah. If all backpacking could be like this, this is so cool. All righty. 
reception path was the one on the left that I was pointing at earlier. Well, one milestone after the next. Next one is uh, Boulder Pass. They're coming quick. Got two guys up there. Lots of easy day hikes you could do. You can go up this one. You can go up that ridge, which the other guys are doing. Oh yeah. You can spend so much time in Skokie Valley, especially if you're a mountaineer. Holy jeez. Scrambles you could do. Oh, wow. Look back. Sheesh. So cool. Not sure how well you can see it on camera, but look at all the little splashes, the little ripples on this lake. And I can't see any ducks. It's either uh, springs or there's fish. Like crazy. That's all I can think of. Pretty cool. can't say it enough this is sublime hmm. what is it people down there I think they're getting water out of the lake I can tell you that this is perfectly amazing water Just put your water bottle right under there fill her up anyway these guys aren't getting water they're fishing can't blame them, it must be amazing. Oh, they're catching a fish. Yeah, he's got one. Pretty much conquered Tarmigan Lake. And of course, I have to stop and take a break and just drink it all in. You can actually see like a road up and everything. This is uh, Lake Louise over here. You can even see a chairlift that goes up. First shots of Lake Louise. I can't forget the big wall up here. This is pretty cool. Cool. Halfway hut. Okay. Halfway hut's down there somewhere. I'm going to catch it later. I want to go up to Hidden Lake, both the campground and the lake. Well, that was like immediate almost. That's the uh, water source. I'm not heading down there in my backpack. I don't need to add on any more work. These high tables are just sort of standard for this area. First time I saw them was wildflower. And ever since, they all look like that. This one here is the one with a view, for sure. If you like hanging out in your tent, this place has got the views for you. Not bad, man. This is actually a pretty cool sign. Creative. Somebody put love into that one. All right, onward to the lake. There's been like five of these. 
Now you got a little blurb about trying to restore. Okay. And here we got uh, a little bridge. Been hiking along this thing for a bit, so it's kind of pleasant. Yeah. Well, you're definitely climbing up to the lake, as expected. I think I'm almost there. Nice. definitely do a bunch of playing in here. We're staying at that campground and make this a bit more of a, a bit more of a day hike. You can get up there, you can hike up this a little, see what you can see. All right, well, we had a nice break. 1.3 kilometers back to the main trail. Stop at a halfway hut, and then it's, I think it's basically downhill road from that point. Well, this was 2.6 kilometers I really didn't need. 75 is plenty with a backpack. But, uh, I mean, I had planned Skokie. I planned everything, right? I have everything planned. And part of that plan was to stop here at Hidden Lakes Campground and Pretty much just to go and see this lake so now that i've gone to see it i can take that one out you know like as far as a, a night and just walk right up to baker lake or maybe even farther right so it kind of helps my future stuff so it's a little bit of extra pain today for some long-term gain back and read that a little more. All right, let's go check this guy out. Cool. Check out the inside. Nice and cool in here, it's well insulated. Well preserved. Nice, on the inside of the door they got Nice little write-up. 1931. Well built, absolutely. It's almost 100 years old. It looks very good. All right. Just over seven kilometers to go now. Temple Lodge is one thing that's in between me and the car, but I think that's pretty much it. Might be a bit of a boring road, but it's still pretty. Caution snowmobiles. Can't say as I've seen that in a national park or anywhere for that matter. I think that means I'm gonna start on the Temple Lodge access road. I think this is Temple Lodge over here. Phew, taking a nice break here though. Look how open it is through these trees. Quite nice. 
And I'm still not sure what this is. Is this, is this another ski run? It must be. There's Temple Lodge. I wonder if they rent it out all summer because it is, it's quite nice. A cool place to hang out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm on the access road. This will be, be kind of interesting in its own right, right? You got these all these propane bottles. I imagine they run. Uh, who knows what they run? Snow making equipment. Anyway. This is a lot of climb for coming back out here, and I certainly have plans to come back to Skokie. But yeah, it's just uphill on this road. Yeah, you, you definitely work to, uh, to achieve that awesomeness in there. Didn't know you had horses stored down here. Must be for the lodge. Hmm. Oh, ma'am. That four kilometer uh, walk at the end. Oof. I still think it's better than that 15 kilometers that you would do at the end of the other one, plus the, the climb up the side of Mount Norquay. But still, that's. Eef. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to going back up that road to go back into Skokie and explore it, right? For that haven't actually explored it cool backpack i mean you add up everything i did on a back with a backpack on 78 kilometers in five days with three passes that's probably my best physical performance yet that's my longest one since south boundary trail yeah not bad at all man not bad at all recommended for sure saw back all right, man, get out there and hike.